Okay, so I got another something for the tube. I'm gonna give you a hint here. It is yellow and shiny. Any guesses yet? So I got in another American Gold Buffalo. I got this one on the recent drop back to 1780. So maybe this is my Jerome Powell discount. Because there really wasn't much more to the drop in price than the fact that the Fed spoke at all in the first place. I think this time they were talking about talking about tapering. And on top of that drop in price that really had nothing to do with the fundamentals of gold, one of the online dealers had a promotion for 7% premium on American Gold Buffaloes. So this one came in just above $1,900. I think it was 1904, might've been 1905. There was nothing really compelling me to get the coin at the moment, even though the price had dropped and the premium was 7%. That was a pretty good deal. If we look today, we're already seeing that the price of gold is dropping again. There's just not a whole lot of reason to rush to buy gold at the moment. That doesn't mean that I'm holding off on buying gold. It just means that I'm not racing against anything. There aren't any big events that I feel are really going to push the price of gold up. It's, it's a bit of a boring time for the price of gold right now. It's trading sideways or down based on what the U.S. dollar is doing. And you can tell it's a boring time just by what's popular on YouTube right now. That popular topic right now revolves around financial regulations for capital requirements in the banking industry. And I'm sorry... But Basel III just should not be that exciting to most of us. Now, sometimes it's just better to focus on the purchase itself and the goal that you're working toward. Now, to me, this is more about continuing with that positive momentum than it is about any possible price swing. I'm working on filling a tube of buffaloes, but I'm not in any particular hurry. I wasn't worried about that next phase of Basel III deadlines. You know, that's going to affect 30% of the European banks using the LBMA. That's really not a big deal. Maybe this is a good time to think back to any of those YouTubers that were telling you that the price of gold was going to explode at the end of June, by the way. There are just too many people focusing on negativity and nonsense. Nonsense about what's going to happen to the prices of precious metals. I mean, because is this really about disaster planning? Maybe a little bit. But personally, I think it's a lot more about taking control of your circus, getting your monkeys in order. I think that's the PG way of saying it. But for whatever reason, and only here on YouTube, there's always some kid telling you that the prices are about to explode and some old man telling you that the dollar is about to collapse. Now, I'm not going to dwell on that. We get to choose how we view this stuff. To me, this is about putting something solid away for a rainy day or a possible opportunity, building some kind of really good foundation, keeping momentum going towards continued growth, all of that. Maybe it's even about reducing stress. It's easy enough to ignore the people that are constantly trying to increase stress, trying to make you anxious. I mean, it's this summer. I just don't have time for that kind of thing. I don't know that I've ever seen a video in this community just asking how everyone is doing. And this doesn't have to be like some kind of support group, like folding chairs in a circle in the basement of a church or some gym. But... Personally, you know, I got into YouTube to try to demystify buying this stuff a little bit. It always seemed like kind of a lonely thing, like something not a lot of people talk about, and even a little bit too tied to crisis planning. Now, I'm not here to tell you what you should or shouldn't be planning for, but I'm also not here to rev you up about buying raids or silver squeezes or derivative regulations in Europe. We can see at this point what really happened. I mean, nothing happened from those silver squeezes. Those buying raids didn't amount to anything. The Basel III regulations in Europe didn't amount to anything. That's talking about price. Now, I'm not saying that the prices of metals aren't going to go up. I just think that there's just so much nonsense here, so many distractions, and so much stress being added when really the important part is, again, just working on those goals, building up some weight, putting away some savings in gold, silver, whatever it is. If you're curious about the specific coin, though, this is an American Gold Buffalo. It's a 2021, and you can't see any flaws on this coin. You won't see any scratches or dings, but it's not perfect. If you had this coin in hand, you'd notice that, again, the edge is uneven. So the Native American, the way that he's facing just beyond his nose, the coin is raised a little bit. It's thicker there. And it almost feels like it needed that second strike. And the coin at that point is sharp. 
the ridge is just a little bit higher than it should be. And I really don't point this out to dwell on any of the flaws of the coins. I'm just kind of saying that the coins that I've been getting lately, they are not perfect. And also, I really don't mind. This still gets me an ounce closer to my goals. And in this case, with the buffalo, it's one more coin closer to my goal of filling a tube. So at this point, I have 17. One of those is a proof. I guess that means that I'm four away from a tube with that extra proof. It's been pointed out a couple times that 21 of these in these capsules will fit in a tube. That's probably how I'll, I'll go about this. When I hit that 20, I'm not sure what I'll do. Probably I'll go back to a focus on American Gold Eagles. The Type 2 design will be out at that point. I mean, that's really been my, my top priority to begin with. But as I got closer and closer to the Type 2 release, I kind of fell off the Eagle focus. Now, I've actually even kicked around finding some other alternatives, some coins that I have not been purchasing lately. I'll let your imagination run on that, what I might be talking about, but I might even go back to some of my very first coins that I was buying 12, 13 years ago. I did buy a little bit more Bitcoin last week. That almost sounds weird to say, but when I hit 30K, I put in just a little bit. Maybe that's just asking for added misery. But I haven't really been doing anything with cryptocurrency for a few months now, and I think that maybe that's added to my feeling that not much is happening with price movement across assets. And I even picked up some grossly overpriced silver coins. These are purely out of aesthetic interest, which is to say that I got them because I like them. I wanted a desk coin, and these guys of Olympus coins from Tuvalu are very, very cool. Once I got in Zeus, Poseidon came up, I had to grab that one as well. Now this is definitely not going to happen often. I like the idea of following an interesting series, but these are $150 for a coin with a metal value of $25. So they don't sting so bad that I'm gonna lose sleep, but they make no sense at all. These are just a fun coin, and I can understand the collector tug that people get now and then. And just one final thing that I'm going to say about this buffalo. Now, I bought quarter ounce American Gold Eagles for years. I bought those monthly. And that gave me pretty much the same jolt that I get now with these one ounce coins. Now, I have been buying more lately, but I'm sticking to monthly goals. And that's really to keep that momentum going. I don't know if we're going to see exciting swings in price this summer or not, but if I can keep on pace through the year, buying the amount that I've been buying, I know that I'm going to knock out a few stretch goals. And that's really what I'm going to be focusing on. So back to that question of how you're doing, I think the interesting part of a lot of these videos tends to be the comments. So let me know what you're up to. If you have goals you're working toward, let us know. And I'm always curious what people are buying specifically. I mentioned that I'm kicking around a new coin or two just to keep things interesting. And I'm open to suggestions there. If there's something you really like, let me know. At least I'm open to suggestions, more or less. Probably won't turn around and start buying pandas or kangaroos or Scrooge McDuck, but who knows? And by now, I think you know the story about hitting that like button. I will take it if you're into it. Either way, though, thank you again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.